Welcome back to Hospitality Insider, and today we have Wayne Goldberg, CEO of La Quinta Inns and Suites. Wayne, thank you so much for sharing wonderful stories. And now you know we are all in a people business. So we are everywhere you got your employees, you're your guests, and the investors. And you have to make everybody happy. Sure. So tell us your magic, what do you do to engage all those people together? First and foremost, uh, people is one of our core values, and it's the only core value that's in priority order. It is the number one listed pro uh, core value, but it's the only one that is in priority order. Right. We're nothing without our people. Right. And at the end of the day, we have a highly engaged and loyal workforce. Mm -hmm. And I can back that up with our engagement study, which we do annually, uh, and we measure ourselves against not only our competitors, we measure ourselves against companies that are significantly larger than we are, mm -hmm. that are in multiple industries, and I can tell you, and these are their words, not mine, we use uh, an outsource organization, and their words, not mine, uh, we have world-class engagement. Um, we have some of the lowest turnover in our industry among our, our management employees, our hourly employees, and, and our corporate employees. Uh, so first and foremost, highly engaged and loyal workforce. Mm -hmm. We have a highly engaged and loyal consumer. Mm -hmm. uh, we have, I mentioned before, 98% of our revenue comes from the sale of a room. Right. 47% of our revenue comes through our loyalty program. Wow. We have over 9 million loyalty members, and we have some of the highest levels of the most engaged loyalty, of the most engaged consumers mm -hmm. against uh, our competitors. Mm -hmm. We have some of the most loyal franchise partners. Mm -hmm. uh, over 44% of all of our franchise agreements today come from existing franchise partners. Isn't so that exciting? Highly engaged and loyal workforce, highly engaged and loyal consumer, and a highly engaged and loyal group of franchise partners. What we say is we want to be a great place to work, we want to be a great place to stay, mm -hmm. and we want to be a great place to invest. Oh, wonderful. That is the magic of all whole things, and everybody's dream in the hospitality industry, isn't it? It's, it's actually pretty simple. Yeah, it's a simple, but it's something that you always have to do. Everybody has to work so hard to make it effortless. And that's what you have accomplished. So now tell us a little bit about that. I know that uh, La Quinta uh, got into public and sold to uh, Blackstone. And can you tell us a little bit st that story? Sure. We, uh, we were a public company. Uh, and uh, we sold the company in a, uh, pr a public to private transaction in 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, for the last nine years, we've operated uh, with Blackstone as our, uh, our owner. Uh, I've been the CEO the entire time working with Blackstone, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, in April of 2014, we took the company uh, public again, mm -hmm. so we're now back uh, in the public uh, space, uh, oh. operating as a public company once again. Blackstone is now below 50% owner, uh -huh. so uh, we're on our way of, uh, of being an independent uh, operating company and uh, hotel company again. And um, I, again, we've had a great nine years with Blackstone, uh, but uh, we look forward to continuing to drive value for our our, our shareholders uh, and all of our investors on a go-forward basis, and uh, it, it's been a great, uh, a great run. Partnership, for our brand huh? In partnership. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, what is the difference than being an operating as a private company and as a public company? Again, we have always run the company with the philosophy that we're going to say what we're going to do. Mm -hmm. We're going to build the plans mm -hmm. and the strategies to execute the commitments that we make right. uh, and deliver uh, what we say we're going to, uh, to do. Right. Uh, we do that as a public company. We tell the market what we're going to do. We build the plans to make sure we can execute and we, we honor the commitments that we make. Uh, but that's the way we've run the company uh, anyway. the whole time I've been then, there. Right, it's the way right. we ran the company yeah. under private equity ownership. Mm -hmm. yes. we, we told Blackstone what we were going to do. Mm -hmm. We executed and we delivered year after year after year. So wow. again, we're not running the company any differently today. Right. We just, we have to do some things differently. We mm -hmm. have to report differently. We mm -hmm. have to make sure that uh, you know we have the right uh, uh, governance and, and that we're right. doing all of the right reporting and mm -hmm. filing. But again, we never really changed a lot of that. In we operation. continue to keep a lot of the public uh, governance in place, mm. even as a private company. Wonderful. Uh, but we operate with the philosophy that we're going to be known as the company, continue to be known as a company, says what we're going to do, and delivers against the commitments we make. Right. Well, so, uh, Wayne, what is your biggest challenge doing all these wonderful, great achievement? Well, first and foremost, it isn't me. Mm. I work with a, an amazing group of people that, uh, that know how to deliver results. 
Uh, people always ask me how I sleep at night. Yes. Uh, what I always say is uh, I sleep like a baby. <laughs> I wake up every four hours and cry. Uh, <laughs> the reality is yes. I sleep very well yes. knowing that at the end of the day, we know how to run the business. Right. When it's things that are within our control, yes. I don't lose a moment's sleep. That's right. It, the things that keep me up at night are the things that I don't control. Right. And in the event that there's a macroeconomic event, then at that point in time, what you do is you focus on making sure you outperform and that you can go through the cycle and perform to the maximum capability. And what I would tell you is we did that during the last downturn extremely well. Uh, we outperformed the entire time. We continue to produce positive cash flow. It's a resilient business, been through many cycles. Uh, and at the end of the day, when it's the things you can't control, all you have to do is make sure you're positioned to do better, better. than everyone mm -hmm. else. And at the end of the day, if you have to change the way you run your business because of the economy or the economic environment, then I would argue that you're probably not running your business as efficiently as you should be day in and day out. We run our business to be efficient every day, regardless of the economic yeah. environment. Yes. So that, that is a really incredibly wonderful philosophy, <laughs> you know, that reminds me that if the bear is chasing, you just have to run faster than the guy behind you. So, and, you know, so. It's, it's at that point it becomes <laughs> how you're performing against your industry. That's right, and exactly. if the world is down, pick a number, and you're down less than that, then you've won the game. That's right. The same thing applies on the positive. Yeah. If everyone's up well, 20% and you're only up 15, mm -hmm. you didn't succeed. Yeah. When we come back, we want to talk about his success stories and his personal passion in the hospitality industry. Don't go away. Welcome to Hospitality Insider on Connie TV with your host, Connie Kim. Hospitality Insider is an intimate look of the who's who in the hospitality industry. Up close and personal, you'll meet amazing leaders and discover their stories of successes and challenges that will inspire, educate, and entertain. With your help, we unite, we co-create, and we support each other to create better service in the hospitality industry and contribute to the world. Hospitality Insider, your window to hospitality excellence. Hi, I'm Didi Kim with Darf Design. And you're watching. You're watching. And you're watching. And you are watching. And you're watching Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. The first internet channel for the hospitality industry. Watch and follow who she brings and what she brings to show you to inspire. Connie TV. TV. I love it.